Tomorrow is June 19th or Juneteenth, the commemoration of the freedom of enslaved people in America. And this year marks the first time it's a federal holiday. Celebrations are already underway in our area, including a block party in Harlem. CBS 2's Nick Calloway has more on that. It's the kind of celebration that brought Esme Robinson to her feet, 89 years old and unable to contain her joy. This is a celebration, a black celebration. All them years of suffering. And this is, this is New York, baby. The city-sponsored Juneteenth block party brought hundreds to Harlem's St. Nicholas Park to dance, sing, and to reflect. I think this is wonderful. It's just a wonderful day. It's a great day, and it's about time. This is history making in long time coming. So we are very excited about the passage of this holiday. Now a federal holiday, June 19th is a day that commemorates the end of slavery in this country. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Mayor Bill de Blasio say it's a major step forward in recognizing the sins of the past, but the fight for racial equality must continue. We all know that slavery officially ended in 1865, but we also all know that in many ways, slavery is still with us, and we have to fight it every day. Juneteenth is a moment to recommit ourselves to change, to action, to not accepting a status quo that we all know is still broken. Yvonne Davis says she hopes this is a catalyst for real change. I hope this is the beginning of something. It just doesn't end here, that it will still move on and recognize our history and what we've been through as a black people in America. From Harlem and all over the five boroughs, New Yorkers came together here, many for their first ever Juneteenth celebration, but they tell me it definitely won't be their last. In Harlem, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.